In this video, we will create a tunnel draw cord in 3D. We can create a tunnel draw cord using fold line offset and holes. To begin, let's add holes for the eyelets. Use insert ellipse, then click where you want to add the eyelet holes. With the select tool, Select the ellipse internal line and from the context menu, select convert to hole. And we can add a zigzag stitch to the hole. Now let's review the fold line on the waistband. Select the fold line. On the context menu under line properties, click the advanced dropdown. Here we have additional options for the fold line. Be sure that your fold line has a negative prepare angle. By default, a fold line folds the fabric away from the body. For the waistband, we want the fabric to fold towards the body. Next, be sure your fold line is going the correct direction. The notch on the fold line points to the side that is facing out. Make sure it is on the side of the eyelets. Next, we need to add to the offset value. By default, a fold line has an offset of 0.5 layers. This means that the side of the pattern that is folded is offset by half a layer so that it does not collide with the rest of the pattern. To add a draw cord pattern in the folded waistband, we need to add one layer to the offset, so we change the fold offset to 1.5. To hold the draw cord in place, we will add internal lines. In this example, we can use clone by offset to create two new internal lines. Now let's create the draw cord pattern. Use insert rectangle to create a pattern equal to half the length of the draw cord. Now we can select the edge and add symmetry so that we can stitch it to the symmetrical waistband. Since part of the draw cord will be outside the waistband, let's add a fold line and use the same offset method to be sure it stays outside the waistband. Select the end of the draw cord and use clone edge by offset. Input a negative value equal to the length of the draw cord that will be outside the waistband. Select the internal line and under line properties, check the option for fold. Expand the advanced section and set the offset to 1.5. Since part of the draw cord will be stitched, let's add a corner point to indicate where the stitching begins. Since we already have an internal line on the pattern, we can use it to add points on the pattern edge. With edit points on, select the points of the internal line. Select add point to edge. Turn off internal line selection and select the added points. Make them corner points. Let's check our layers. The waistband is at layer five, so we will set the draw cord to layer four. Since this piece is very narrow, let's lower the grid size to 0.5 to start. Stitch the top and bottom edges of the draw cord to the internal lines on the waistband. Select the stitch icon, then adjust the stitch length to align with the eyelet. And we will add the draw cord fabric. Now let's arrange the draw cord. We can place it in the waistband cluster. Add a new cluster with the belt wrap type. We can scale the cluster so that the stitch lines align with the internal lines on the waistband. When dressing a tunnel draw cord, it's best to dress the waistband first, then dress the draw cord. Uncheck using 3D for the waistband and draw cord. Select the other patterns and in the styling panel, lock the pieces. Check using 3D for the waistband and dress. Then dress the draw cord. For portions of the draw cord that are caught in the waistband, use focus styling to pull the draw cord through the eyelet.
To remove the shadowed lines on the waistband, select the internal line and in the context menu, change the stitch construction to flat. What if your draw cord is rounded? Let's uncheck Use in 3D and clone our draw cord. Selecting the cloned draw cord, increase the height times 2. With the pen tool and snap to center on, draw a line down the center of the draw cord. Select the internal line and make it a soft fold line. Stitch the fold line to the top internal line on the waistband. Be sure to adjust the stitch length on the waistband and the draw cord. Stitch the bottom edge to the lower internal line on the waistband and adjust the stitch length. Stitch the draw cord to itself. Lower the grid size of the folded draw cord to 0 0.3. Select the waistband fold line and under advanced options, change the offset to 2.5. This is because the draw cord is folded, taking up the space of two layers. Select the draw cord and check use in 3D. If the pattern has an odd shape in prepare mode, you may need to uncheck the vertical fold line on the draw cord. Redrawing the line to be sure it is perpendicular to the other fold line may resolve the issue. Dress the draw cord and as before, use focus styling if needed. If your draw cord looks extra thick after dressing, Consider reducing the thickness of the fabric for the draw cord to zero. The rounded draw cord pattern will provide the thickness. Let's make a clear aglet. Selecting the edge of the draw cord, check the edge property for shrink. Set the value to 60% and the depth equal to the length of the aglet. We can add a different material for the aglet. Select the edge of the draw cord and use clone by offset equal to the negative length of the aglet. Select the internal line and mark it as a cut mark. Clone the draw cord fabric. Lower the normal map to zero depth. Delete any specular or roughness map. Set the specular to one and the roughness to zero. And that is how we create a tunnel draw cord in 3D.